What's going on you guys? Please excuse the outfit. I understand I, with this setup, I look like a Bond villain. Um, but I'm gonna talk about something important today. Um, and that's, this is an article that I saw recently. I'm gonna bring it up so I can read it to you. It says, why young adults, especially men, are having sex less, okay? Now, this is something that I've seen come up again and again. Um, and I kind of knew this even before I read the article and it's a big motivation for my channel even exists um, because I sense this is happening, okay? Young adults are having less sex than their predecessors. Talking the 2000s, even up to the 2010, we're having less and less sex. And this study was done before the coronavirus pandemic and all that stuff happened. So this is before all of this was happening before, probably gotten way worse since, okay? So what are the main reasons that this is happening, okay? Um, and by the way, you guys, for those of you who didn't get access to my approaching system when it was on offer last week, I'm gonna be opening up sales again for it just for three days. So if you wanna get in on these three days, please click the link below and get signed up, and I look forward to seeing you there. This is gonna help you out, obviously, with that problem, okay? So, young adults are having less sex than they did before. I knew this, this is pretty common, and with uh, people who say that the hookup culture is really, really predominant, everyone's hooking up with everybody, it's not really that true. People talk about hooking up a lot more than they actually do it. Uh, and if you notice, the frequency of sex is a lot less. So, maybe you'll have sex with one person, and then you just won't see them again or talk to them again uh, afterwards. So that happens uh, as well, too, okay? So why is this happening? Now the article goes into lists a number of different reasons, maybe changing attitudes. Um, they talk about economic factors. Those also play a role for sure. Um, but it doesn't really give any useful advice, okay? It just says, well, men are making less, attitudes are changing. No useful advice I could find in any of these articles is actually helping people and especially men out, okay? And this is why I got into what I do. I want guys to have more sex. I want people, I want more people to have more sex, okay? People usually have sex when they're happy. People usually have sex when there's good stuff going on, when they have good energy, when they feel motivated. Those things happen. Yes, people can have sex for bad reasons too, but they don't usually have it consistently over a long period of time, okay? Now, how do you get more of this? Well, I'll tell you. A big, big thing that this article does not mention or really talk about is how men are brought up in today's day and age. They're not brought up to be men anymore. They're not brought up to be sexually desirable. You know women, there's twice as many men that are virgins than are women virgins in this day and age. Twice as many. That number I think is an underestimate, okay? Because there's just a certain segment of the male population that women are not sleeping with. They don't find them desirable. And they don't find them desirable for a lot of reasons that you know, when you look at the way men are brought up become painfully obvious to you. I mean, look at the way, like, look at how school is. Look how, like, a, a guy's childhood is. You raise your hand to go to the bathroom. You're asking permission for pretty much everything. You're taking tests, hoping that somebody is gonna give something to you. You develop needy, permission-seeking behaviors all throughout your childhood and life. These are the same behaviors that prevent a woman from being attracted to you. How on earth do these men expect to be prepared to actually be desirable to a woman if they're doing this their whole life? This is a big reason why I started my channel in the first place and why I'm so passionate about what I do. I don't know if you can tell by the way that I'm talking right now, but yes, this is something that I really, really care about because I feel like the way the world is and society is, it is not built there to help men. It's why I have a job in the first place is because I teach these skills and I teach guys how to do it. How many guys, when they walk outside, if they see a girl that they find attractive, that they like, that they would love to talk to, would actually have the balls to go up and talk to that woman. That number is so freaking low, and I know that number was higher back in the 80s. I know it was higher back in the 90s and the 2000s. We have more guys who are sitting there complaining about their introversion, complaining about all of these reasons why they're not getting girls, but none of them are actually stepping up and actually doing it. And it's sad. That's why I have the, the, the things that I have. That's why I have my coaching programs is to help guys do this. So if you're a guy who's watching this and you feel maybe personally attacked uh, by this sort of stuff, I'm just, I'm just giving you the facts and you know I get kind of motivated and emotional about it because I was myself a person like this. I was somebody who I would put in that category of a person who was undesirable for most women out there. And as a result, 
I wasn't getting sex. I wasn't getting into relationships. I wasn't dating people, okay? It was a frustrating experience for me. But once I learned to stop those permission-seeking behaviors, stop being needy, stop actually waiting for somebody else to take charge of my own life and take charge myself, that's when things really started to take around. Sorry, just started to turn around. So when I did see that girl I liked at a Starbucks or in a grocery store or just around wherever, I wasn't scared to go say hi. I wasn't afraid of, I don't know, some, some movements that are happening right now. It's like there's no problem with saying hi and being friendly. And if somebody doesn't want to talk to you, just leave them alone. It's very, very simple. So in the approaching system, I talk all about this. And that's why I came out with a program that I thought was you know, something that if you're a guy who knows nothing, you can come into this program, go through it, and actually learn how to start conversations with people in your everyday life. Okay anywhere, wherever it is to be able to do this. And, and that's why I'm so motivated to talk about this sort of stuff because I was one of those guys in the past, okay? So what you can start doing is start looking at your life. Where are you, where are you exhibiting these permission-seeking behaviors? Where are you being needy? What are you actually doing to change your dating life, to change your sex life and actually do things to put yourself in that direction? Because what you've been taught, most of you watching this, you've been taught a lie. You've been taught if you get the good grades and you ask permission and you're a good little boy, life will give you what you want because it has in school, in your, uh, when you're upbringing, most, most men are raised predominantly by women. The guy's not in the picture a lot of times, whether he's left or whether he's just not at work all the time. Yeah, you, you don't, it's you, you're usually raised mostly by women, okay? You need to start exercising yourself as a man. And a man goes after what he wants. He doesn't wait for permission. He doesn't wait, hey, is it okay? Is it okay if I do this? Can I, can I do this now? Is, is, is it okay? Thank you, teacher. He doesn't do any of that shit. He goes for it, all right? So I know you've taught to behave in a certain way, but there are ways that you can get over it, and it starts with you. It starts by making a decision to actually learn this sort of stuff, you know? And if you guys are interested to actually learn how to walk up and talk to the women that you want to talk to, take charge of your own life, then yes, please, take advantage of the deal that I'm offering with the approaching system. The practical approaching system is the best thing that I think any guy who's looking for a low price point and be able to learn this stuff can do it. So yeah, click the link in below and you know, that's, uh, that's, that's kind of a part of the reason why I posted this video is because I'm opening up sales again for it, but uh, I also really wanted to talk about this and you know, this is something that I think is a really important aspect of life, so. Anyway, I appreciate you guys sticking in. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. And I'm going to be coming out with more content like this in the future to address this specific issue, which really has been the issue that I've been addressing this whole time on this channel. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.